open router, a cool website that I stumbled upon that allows you to stay on top of your game and know exactly what are the top performing LLMs that are live and you can use in your projects. So it's pretty straightforward. This is going to be a very short video. I just wanted to share it with you because I find this very cool. So this website basically ranks all the models that are available and it shows you ranking day based on the amount of tokens used. So for example, we can see today what were the most popular LLMs used today. So Mitomax, which I never heard about, Mixtal, which I know about, Capybara 7B, um, OpenAI GPT-4, etc. So this allows you to see what LLMs are currently trending. And if you're not using the most trending LLMs, you can decide to check them out. So you can see there is like top today, top five days and fastest growing. As you can see, Google Gemini is the fastest growing um, LLM. And what basically Open Router is offering is first of all, this tracking, which I think is very important and crucial because it allows you, as I said, to see what are like the most popular models. And it also has uh, interesting use cases in which it allows a standardized API. So basically you don't need to change anything in your code in order to switch between models and providers. So this makes building on top of LLMs much easier because you don't need to adjust and tweak because they, as mentioned, give you a standardized API. And another um, important factor, which I really love, is the fact that you can test different models simultaneously and if you like them you can start you you can decide that you are going to install them locally or you are going to pay to the model specifically um, so basically it, it allows you to compare between different models so what i did here you can just choose which models you would like to add to the chat and you see it, it is breaking down by different uh, different a group so you have the mistral group you have gpts you have the llama the llamas you have palms you have the gemini you have claude different uh, different models by claude and you just add all of them let's say or whichever that you would like to test so let's say this guy and tropic as well and you can see here i have four different models and i can just write different queries, different prompts, and then they are all going to react. So for example, before I asked each one of them to write an attention grabbing Facebook post about improving your ROAS with testing various creatives. And I got a response from each one of them. So first of all, you can see how fast they write the, I mean, how fast they, re they react or give you the output and second of all you can see how many tokens were used so as you can see sapphire used 20 tokens for the response capybara used 30 tokens and mixtal used 38 tokens and you can compare quality which is the most important factor in my opinion if you're not a uh, time sensitive or on a budget you want to compare quality so as mentioned, I asked it, can you write an attention grabbing Facebook post about improving your OS with testing ver various creatives? And the reason why I wrote this down as a query is because I'm offering a solution for e-commerce brands and basically marketers and media buyers that are spending a lot of money on Facebook ads in which I created a solution that automates the generation of creatives. So this is actually something that I've built. Uh, I have life except for uh, recording these videos for you guys, although this is like probably the best part of my day, except for going to the gym and playing with my daughter. Anyway, so I wanted to see different models. What, how does they respond? So let's see what Safai wrote. Increase your ROAS with creative testing. 
Did you know that testing different creatives can lead to a significant improvement in your ROAS? Creatives are the visual and textual elements that represent your brand and products on social media platforms. Uh, and so on and so on. I don't like I didn't like this much this so much. Let's see the next one, Capybara. Attention marketers, are you struggling to improve your ROAS and looking for a solution? Testing various creatives is the key to unlocking your ad campaign's full potential. By experimenting with different images, headlines, copy, and calls to action, you can discover the most effective combination that leads to higher engagement, better conversations, and an improved ROAS. So why not give it a try? Start testing today and watch your ROAS soar. This is a bit better, although a bit too salesy and sleazy, um, but I didn't even give like a more detailed prompt, which is probably the reason why it wrote this. And we have Mixtal. Unlock the power of testing for higher ROAS. Creatives are the heart of and soul of your ad campaigns, but how do you know which ones are truly driving results? Do you stick to the same design, afraid to switch things up, or do you constantly create new variations without understanding their impact on your ROAS? It's time to break the cycle and start testing your creatives. By testing various creatives, you can identify what truly really resonates with your audience and optimize your ad spend for maximum ROAS. Blah, 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 etc. Then I wrote to all these models uh, a logical riddle and basically none of them gave me the correct answer then i asked all of them to create a simple snake game for me using python none of them was able to actually write the code from a to z they all got errors and now that i added claude let's add just for the sake of just for the fun let's add another one let's see gpt GPT 3.5. Now let's think of a different prompt. Can you tell me a joke? Let's see. Can you tell me a joke? It must be short. Unrelated to AI. Let's see like creativity. And besides it, I'm just, I just wanted to show you the open router. So this isn't like a technical video. So let's, we might as well just have fun. So we can see, okay, you can see all models responding. Okay. Okay, so mixed up first. Sure, here's a short AI related joke for you. Why don't machines ever laugh at jokes? Because they have a hardware time understanding software humor. Mm, not so funny. Next one. Why do robots tell bad jokes? Because they don't have a sense of humor yet. As AI technology continues to advance, who knows what the future will bring. But for now, AI jokes are still pretty punny. Okay, not bad. A bit scary. Sapphire has like aspirations to take over the world. Let's see what Capybara said. Why was the AI trying to break into the lab? Because he wanted to protect data. Not sure. Claude didn't write even a joke. And let's see what GPT 3.5 said. Here's a short AI related joke for you. Why did the artificial intelligence go on a diet? Because it's too hard. Because it, because it had too many bite sized snacks. Okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, I think we'll finish off with this positive note and this uh, not that funny joke, but I think it was the best. Let me know in the comment section which one of the jokes you find you found the funniest. And obviously, if you enjoyed the video and you didn't subscribe yet, please do. And until next time, guys, keep on automating.